Now let's finish up our project by setting up our materials inside of Maya and then set up our lighting and create a nice Arnold render. So let's start by setting up some materials. So this is the uh, Maya file that we left off with at the very beginning of this course. And so this is the geometry all separated out into its separate materials. And now we wanna set up some actual Arnold materials that we can then pipe our texture maps into. So let's start with, uh, let's just start with the head. And so here is our head material right here. I wanna create an Arnold standard surface. I can quickly just type in AI standard, and this is the material that I'm gonna use. Okay, so as I click on this, you can see it right here, and you can see it also right up in here. So the first thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna rename this. And so I'll go ahead and call this head AI standard. And then I want to take everything that was assigned to this temporary one. So I'm gonna right click on this and say, select objects with material. And then I'm gonna right click on the new material and say, assign material to selection. So now the head is using this head AI standard material. So now I want to start to pipe in the textures that we created from Substance Painter. So we've got the head AI standard here. The first thing I'll do is go to the color. And so come over to color click on this little checker. I want to add a file texture. And now we can click on this folder, navigate to our uh, source images folder. It should automatically go there if you have your project set. Otherwise you can navigate directly there. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I'm sorting by name and we're going to come down to the head and choose the head base color. If you can't see this, if it doesn't come on, you can turn on hardware texturing. Um, it won't look exactly the way that you want in the viewport until we render it. So we've got the hair or the uh, color selected. We're using sRGB for our color space. That's okay for the color one. Let's go ahead and choose the metalness. And so we'll again, choose a file, grab our metalness file for the head, which in this case is just black. I'm gonna change the metalness to raw and alpha as luminance. Let's jump down to our roughness and we'll just go through the same process. And we'll choose our head roughness. Okay. And then on this one, the roughness as well, I want to set this to raw and check alpha is luminance as well. And then I want to also add the normal map. And so I'm going to choose an AI normal map node to drop in here. And we can use displacement maps or normal maps. Our geometry is pretty high. Um, I think this is going to work fine. You can also use displacement maps, which will actually subdivide your geometry as well. So the out value, I'm going to pipe into the normal camera. And then in here, on the input, I'm gonna go ahead and get a file. Let's grab the head normal. And I'm gonna change that to raw and alpha is luminance. So now before we move on, let's go ahead and do a quick test render just so we can see if these things are showing up as, as we want them to. And so to set up our simple render, I'm gonna to go to Arnold. And the first thing that I wanna do is go to lights and I'm gonna add a sky dome light. And so what we wanna do is pipe an HDR image into the color slot here. Now, I'm not gonna be able to distribute the HDR image that I use, but it's really easy for you to get. If you want to, you could use the ones from Substance Painter. If you go into your program files for Substance Painter and you go down through resources, shelf, algorithmic environments, you'll find the HDR images that are used inside of Painter. You can certainly use those as well. You can also, go to a spot like HDRI Haven. They have lots of free HDR images, outdoors, indoors, uh, for you to be able to use. The particular one that I'm going to use is going to be, I can find it, this Leadenhall Market. And so this is the one that I'm going to use. And so if we click on any of these, we're able to then just download the version that we need. We'll just quickly download that. And so in our Sky Dome, under the color, so I'm going to pipe this image into. So I'm going to go to file. We're going to go and find that image. And again, I don't have it with the project file. So you're going to have to find this wherever you download it from or uh, wherever you uh, have yours saved. So I'll go ahead and select that. And you can see that it comes in here. I don't necessarily want to see it in the render. And so I'm going to select the, the light itself, go to visibility and turn the camera visibility down so that when I render this, I won't be able to see it. All right, so let's go ahead and just do a quick render 
with this. And so I'm gonna go up to our render settings first, choose a size. So I'm gonna make this uh, fairly small. Let's do just 640 by 480 to begin with so that we can do kind of a quick preview of this. Go ahead and close that. And now I'm just gonna do a quick render. So that's what our initial render looks like. So we are getting some light in there. Let's go ahead and under camera settings, let's choose a resolution gate. And then I'm just gonna move up a little bit closer, do another quick render. So you can see the head is pretty shiny. And so you can see we are getting some light in there. So let's move on with uh, adding more and more materials and then we can tweak some of the settings to get the actual look that we want. So now we just wanna repeat the process for some of these other pieces. So for instance, let's go ahead and create a new material, a new AI standard surface. And this one, we'll go ahead and call this jumpsuit AI standard. We'll go ahead and get that and assign it to there. And now with this one selected, we'll go in and begin doing the exact same thing. So we'll start with color, go to file, grab the jumpsuit color. So jump base color. So there's our base color. Come back and add the metalness and switch the metalness to raw with alpha's luminance. Let's do the same thing for the roughness. And let's select jumpsuit and I'm just gonna map it here. And then let's do the same thing with the normal map. Let's switch that. Now, if we re-render, we should see the jumpsuit, jumpsuit starting to get on there. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the rest of the materials. All right, and then we'll come in in the next lesson and finish everything up. So go ahead and, and do the exact same thing on all of the pieces and just literally go through the exact same steps that we did on all of these materials and just go from left to right if you want to or however you want to do it. Just create a new material for, let's say, the cow select everything that has that material, assign it to that material, and then add all of the maps just as we did with these, okay? And so once we do that, then we can come in and start to tweak things. We will add some extra lighting and make a nice final render. We'll also talk about setting up the material for the eye itself and making that refraction look the way that we want, okay? So in the next clip, come in with your materials and textures assigned just like we did with the head and with the jumpsuit. So just make your way through all of these and then we'll come in in the next clip, add some more lighting and finish up with our final render.